Hi. Today's lesson is about birds. And what I want you to do is I want you to look at these birds and I want you to learn the bird names and maybe some information about them. If we had been at school, we would have taken walks, we would have listened for birds, we would have looked at videos, we would have had a test on these birds, uh, just so many things. So this is what we're going to do in, in, because of Corona. So we'll have to just, okay? So these are easy. The first one's really easy. Can you tell me what it is? Yep, it's a chicken. It's a bright red chicken, isn't it? This is, this chickens are found worldwide. Um, they eat um, seeds, small insects, and worms. And only hens lay eggs. Uh, but to be honest, we both, the, this is a rooster, the rooster and the hens uh, are eaten. And roosters are known for their very early sound. And I always think it's interesting that it sounds so different in different countries. You know how the Japanese sounds, right? So the, eh, 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 I can't remember, but the English one, the American English one goes cock a doodle doo. Completely different, completely not like a rooster sounds. But anyway, have you ever heard a rooster? Has it ever wakened you up in the morning? They're noisy, they're really noisy. One time, a, a, one of my dear friends gave me a rooster. She won it at a festival. And she said it was a bad one though. She said it really was bad. And it really was bad. We put it in our front yard. We thought it would just, just for a little while, we were gonna give it to an, a, a farmer who had chickens and he wanted the rooster. But this rooster, every time we would try to get to our front door, it would attack us and try to bite us. And I had to go out every day with the broom to get to my car. It was really bad. I'm sorry you hear that noise. That's my dog. Remember me talking about joy? That's my dog. And this bird we don't have in Japan. It's a roadrunner. Do you see it? I wanted to talk about the roadrunner because he's a funny bird. And he's also on a cartoon called The Coyote and the Roadrunner. Have you heard of it? Well, he almost doesn't fly. He runs really, really fast. I'm gonna get my dog. I just told her to be quiet. Um, he, they run really, really fast. Maybe, maybe like 25 kilometers an hour, uh, or maybe even 30, really fast. And they eat like grasshoppers and lizards and snakes and mice and even small gophers, which I'll show you what a gopher is later, or you can look it up, gopher, G-O-P-H-E-R. They're interesting rodents that, that they're pretty big actually, and these birds will eat them. These birds are fairly big. They're about about this big. Can you tell how big that is? So they're, they're good little uh, big animals and I lived in New Mexico where this bird is the New Mexico bird uh, the you know their state bird and I used to see them and I just see them running across the street and they're kind of funny birds so now this one we do have in Japan we have them on the in the beach that's a big hint do you know the name gull that's right it's just a seagull this this particular one is called a California gull but they're just gulls they eat fish, insects, eggs, and other scavenged foods. Actually, you have to be careful. They'll take your food. If you have a picnic on the beach, they'll eat it. So you have to be careful. This is the gull, okay? And these, I love these. Do you see them? This is a, do you know? Chickadee. Chickadee's kind of famous for calling its name because it sounds like chick, 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 chick. So it sounds like its name, chickadee. And they uh, live in Japan too, and they hang upside down underneath the twigs to search for food. Kind of like a bat, but it's not a bat. They eat insects and seeds, and, and they're really sweet. Little, little, maybe, maybe that big, they're small, and they kind of shake a little bit. They're cute little birds. Chickadee, okay, say chickadee. I want you to look this one up for sure on YouTube, okay, because their sound is really pretty. This one I don't like. Do you like these? Do you know the name? This is a raven. Raven. Now, um, the smaller cousin is called a crow, but they all sound the same. They have that awful ah, ah sound, right? I don't like them. They're very aggressive. That means they, they, they will 
come at you. They, I'm not you, but they, they're not that afraid. And um, once when I lived in Osaka, I had a little kitten. And sometimes my kitten, I lived on the 13th floor, and so I felt bad for my kitten, so I'd let her out on the veranda. And she enjoyed the fresh air and looking at the, up to the sky and the birds. Well, one day I heard a loud noise, the ar ar, and just and I heard my cat hissing, and and I could tell my cat was scared. And I ran out there. There was a raven trying to bite my kitten, and my kitten was in the corner, and she was so scared. And I tried to shoo the raven away. It wasn't going away. I had to get a, again a broom, and I beat it away, and it went away. And I took my kitten, and I said, "I'm sorry." And I had to watch for ravens in my neighborhood. So that's a raven. Also, ravens are used in literature and they're often kind of dark uh, for dark stories, okay? I think Edgar Allan Poe used ravens for to represent death, okay? Don't want you to be scared though, it's just a bird. All right, this is a blue heron. Do you see it's the this one's actually the great blue heron, and we don't have this particular color that I know of in Japan, but we do have white herons a lot, and they're actually um, a symbol of Japan. So I want you to uh, look this up. They're beautiful birds. Maybe you've seen them on the rivers. I, I was taking a walk yesterday and saw one. I, I like these. They're big, beautiful birds. They eat, let me see what they eat. They eat fish. Small amphibians. Do you remember what an amphibian is? Yeah, it starts in the water and it goes onto the land. So like some frogs and things like that. And reptiles. It eats snakes, so I like it. So that's the heron. Heron. I don't know the sound it makes. Why don't you look it up and then you, you tell me what it sounds like, okay? This one everybody knows. It's the owl. Owls are often in stories. They're known, they're supposed to be wise. Sometimes they're dark. In dark stories, they're magical. They eat, you know what they eat. They eat at night. They're sleeping in the day and they eat at night. And this one's the great horned owl. See the tufts of the fur? They're not really ears, but they look like ears or horns. They're just fur. And it and he goes, hoo hoo, hoo hoo. I'm not very good owl, but anyway, you can listen. They're really um, got a interesting sound. And uh, they also take their neck and they turn it around and they can see all the way around. They're really uh, interesting birds to look at. All right, just a few more. This is the Cardinal. He's a red bird. I've seen a very few in Japan, not so many. The females are brown. But we have a lot in America, and this is the Kentucky bird. And so I just, I like the, the cardinals. They're really pretty, aren't they? They like to eat seeds. This is a wren. We do have these in Japan. This little baby has, he's not very big. That's why I said he's, he's a little bit bigger than the chickadee. Maybe, maybe this big. And he likes to sit with his tail up. And he's a pretty little brown bird. And he likes to eat insects and spiders, so I really like him, because you know I don't like spiders. So that's the wren. I wouldn't mind you looking that one up. It's W-R-E-N, and looking it up to see what the sound is of a wren, okay? And this is a pelican. You know what a pelican is. He likes to eat fish. And um, he's a really strong swimmer, and. I don't know, I think you're gonna only see him near the beaches and the coastal areas, but they're in most, most all around the world. And this is a pheasant. A pheasant is a bird that is eaten uh, all over the world, and it's a very, um, kind of a fancy dish, okay? It's a pheasant. It looks kind of like it's maybe a cousin to a chicken, doesn't it? Uh, it eats grain, berries, seeds, and some insects. I have seen them in Japan. They're usually, I think this is a, a male. The females are, are brown or they're not as attractive. Remember, in the na native, in the nature, um, the males are more handsome with the colors, the bright colors, because they want to attract the girls, okay? Last one, Oriole. 
An Oriole is here uh, in Japan. Again, this must be a, a male, and they it looks a little different in Japan. The, the ones that I've seen just have kind of a black neck, not such a full black head, but they um, eat insects, including hairy caterpillars. So I thought that was interesting, and wild fruit. So I'd like you to look this one up and hear what it sounds like, okay? So that's it with the birds. Real quickly, let's look. What is it? Chicken. That's right. This one? Road runner. Good. This one's easy. Gull. Uh-huh. Seagull sometimes. How about this one? This I like this one. The sound is the same. Chickadee. That's right. And this one I don't like. Raven. Right. And this one's the Japanese bird. Not, not blue, but it's white. What is it? Heron. Good. Easy, right? Owl. And this one, do you remember? Starts with the C. Cardinal. Cardinal. And this one, do you remember? That's a wren. A wren. Remember the tail stands up. It's a wren. And that one's a pelican. Do you remember this one? Pheasant. It starts the P-H, if you're going to look it up and hear the sound. Pheasant. And the last one, Oriole. Okay? Okay, so that's it for the birds. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Talk to you later. Bye.